inserting audio and video files. In PowerPoint, you can easily insert your sound recordings, movie clips, etc. Adding different types of media to a PowerPoint presentation makes it more attractive and presentable. PowerPoint allows you to add videos from internet as well as videos stored on your computer. It also allows you to insert audio from your computer as well as record your own voice. Inserted media files can help you to keep your audience engaged in your presentation. Inserting an audio file To insert an audio file, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on Audio command under the Media group of the Insert tab. Step 2. A drop-down menu displays two options. The options are Audio on My PC. Selecting this option opens an Insert Audio dialog box. Browse to the location of your audio file. Select the audio file. Click on Insert button. Record Audio Selecting this option opens the Record Sound dialog box. Type a name for your audio. To record your voice, click on the Record button and Speak. After recording, click on Stop button to stop the recording. To listen to your recording, click on Play button. If you are happy with your audio, click on OK button. This will insert the recorded sound file in the slide. If you are not happy with your recording, record again by clicking on the record button. Step 3. An audio icon or speaker icon appears in your slide indicating that your audio is inserted. You can drag the audio icon anywhere on the slide. Clicking on the play or pause button will play or pause the audio file. The play button is a right pointing triangle. The pause button is a vertical equal to mark. The duration of the audio file played so far is indicated by the timeline. Step 4. When you click the audio icon, two contextual tabs, format and playback appear on the ribbon under audio tools tab. Inserting a video file. To insert a video file, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on video command under the media group of the insert tab. A drop down menu displays two options. The options are online video. It selects and inserts a video file from the internet. Some websites such as YouTube allow us to insert a video in our slides. The video will not be inserted in the slide, only the URL of the web page of the video and a thumbnail is inserted. So, the video will play directly from the website. All the video controls such as play, pause, volume, etc. are also on the website. But when you play the video, you must be connected to the internet. The URL for the video is pasted in the online video dialog box. The thumbnail appears in the slide. The video is playing in the slideshow. The video playing in the slideshow. Notice the name of the website and the control buttons. Video on my PC. Selecting this option opens the insert video dialog box. Browse to the location of your video file. Select the video file. Click on Insert button. Step 2. The video will be added to the slide. Clicking on Play or Pause button will play or pause the video file. When the video plays, the timeline indicates the duration of the video played so. Action buttons. Action buttons are some built-in shapes which you can add to your slides. This action happens when you either click an object or hover your mouse over in a slideshow. Clicking an action button can open a web page, an email, a linked file, another slide in the same presentation or a slide in a different presentation. They are the same as a hyperlink. Follow the given steps to insert action buttons. 1. 
open an existing presentation. 2. Click on Shapes drop-down button under the Illustrations group of the Insert tab. Step 3. Action buttons is the last category in the list. Click the action button that you want to insert in your presentation. Step 4. Click and drag the mouse over the slide where you want to insert the action button. Release the mouse button to add the action button. As soon as the action button is inserted in the slide, an action settings dialog box opens. Step 5. In the action settings dialog box, click on either the mouse over or mouse click tab. Step 6. Choosing the mouse over action will cause an action to happen when you hover your mouse pointer over the button. Mouse click action will cause the action to happen when you click the button. Step 7. To apply your selected action, click on OK button. Printing the presentation. Follow the given steps to print a presentation. Step 1. Click on File tab. The backstage view appears. Step 2. Click on the print option from the left pane in the backstage view. Step 3. The print screen appears. The pane has Different print options to print the presentation. Select the printing option based on what you want to print. The options are Print all slides. Choosing this option will print all the slides in the presentation. Print selection. This option will print only the selected slides from the presentation. Print current slide. This option prints only the currently open slide. Custom range. This option lets to select a print range of your own. Step 4. Choose a layout to print. For example, full page slides prints only one slide of the presentation on the entire page. Step 5. Click on print 